it is a devotional mood in ayodhya and people and devotees are not just here from india from different parts of the country but even from abroad i am joined by a group of sadhvis guru sisters two of whom have come from london we have somebody from delhi we have somebody from up and i'll ask them what is their experience first can i have your name please and what brings you to ayodhya so my name is dr sadhvi vakshi bharti and i am a disciple of her holiness mashito shamri ji i'm here in ayodhya to celebrate ram ji's pran pratishtha and 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 how big is this day do you think you know in the context of what all the history has been of ram janam bhoomi how big a day is this for not just indians maybe hindus across the world so it is a very very huge day you might have seen that there's certain days that shook the world and this is one of those days so on the 22nd of january 2024 it is a ground breaking day and for those sanatani because for so many years there's been a struggle to openly be able to celebrate your dharma your religion and now we're getting that on a world stage the whole world is here and it is absolutely a wonderful opportunity for us all Don't you think the journey from London to Ayodhya is very long? Is this devotion which brings you, or is this the urge to be here on the big day? Jeshina, my name is Saint Gabrielle, and I'm a disciple of Our Holiness, Master Shambhiji. And you could say it was devotion that brought me here. The thing that attracted me to India was the fact that I needed a guru, right? I needed Brahm Nish Tatve Veda guru, and I was very lucky that I met one, Her Holiness Master Shambhiji. And it's really amazing that here in Ayodhya, the energy, the positivity here, because everyone's talking about Lord Ram, right? And majority of the time, people are talking about wealthy things, other things, but now everyone's talking about Lord Ram. They're talking about the Ramayan. They're talking about Hindu Sanskriti, Vedas, Mantra. the ancient texts that have guided us through so many ages not just thousands of years but ages and it's really amazing to see here in ayodhya that there seems to be this divine light that just seems to be shining throughout and lord ram was for long under a tent like this yes. in which under we are standing in a news 18 camp office here but now a grand temple is here how big is that change you know for a devotee who seen lord ram under a tent and now seeing lord ram under a grand temple Yes, of course, it's a big change, and every devotee wants the same. Because we ourselves, being a simple, normal human being, we want the best. We want the best facilities. We want everything. And the same devotion has to be for our Lord Ram, because He is the Lord Ram. He is the owner of this whole world, the whole universe. So, of course, as a disciple, it was you know we were praying for this divine moment that this happens. Our Lord Ram. It, it, the prant for this day happens very soon and finally the day has come and we are all very thankful we thank because this is also possible from the uh, grace of lord ram it would not have been possible by any other human being whether it's the prime minister whether it's the chief minister we all are simple human being this day has occurred that's also by the grace of the perfect master it's by the grace of lord ram on that note jai shri ram from everybody in ayodhya and this divine mood which is there in ayodhya aman sharma with bimbadhar for cnn news 18 from ayodhya